Hi everyone, today topic is IP subnetting and we will learn how to do very easy way IP subnetting and how it works. Let's start with this. IP subnetting, the main purpose of subnetting is to relieve the network congestion and improve network performance. It is a process to dividing single or large network into multiple smaller networks. We will learn how to do using subnetting into a smaller networks. It also help in a minimizing the wastage of IP addresses. We also save the IPs using IP subnetting. We will also learn this. Subnetting helps to enhance the security level. We also learn how we, we can enhance the security level using IP subnetting and how we can easier network administration do this. Okay. Let's start with this IP subnetting. I'm starting with this uh, scenario. Okay. Here is a uh, organization which have three department, IT department, finance department, HR department. IT department require have uh, almost uh, 51 PCs or hosts. That's why they require 51 IPs. Finance department same way require 36 IPs. HR department require 45 IPs. One thing to remember is the classful address. The network is already built. The given address is 200.20.1.0 slash 24 okay so first we need to know uh, this IP uh, belongs to which class okay so we always check with first octet okay and we can see here class A is 1 slash uh, 126 class B 128 to 191 and class C is 192 to 223 so it means 200 belongs to class C so if belongs to class T, it's, it's mean it's, it's default subnet mask is 255.255.255.0, okay. And the first IP is network ID. One thing uh, I should uh, clear this, uh, actually every octet like this zero octet have total to 56 IPs, okay. How to 56 IPs is started from 0 to 255. 0 is also consider as a IP okay so that's why 0 to calculate 0 to 255 is total is 256 okay and then uh, starting from first IP so 200.20.1.0 is that 0 is the first IP is belong to network ID okay what is network ID network ID means this is a complete network it's mean all other word know the network is part of this router or this organization okay so everybody uh, from other words to connect this using if anybody using uh, want to connect with this these IPs uh, belong to these IPs word should know about this IPs belong to this router okay so this is the network ID okay 200.20.1.0 and all remaining IPs actually is a usable IPs and the last one IP is from this network is 255 okay so 255 is basically broadcast id which is used for broadcasting okay so these two ip is uh, we cannot use because it's dedicated to network id and broadcast id remaining other ips is a usable ip so remaining other ips from total 256 to is uh, remaining is ips are 254 okay so here we when we calculate 45 36 51 it's almost 130 ip is usable and the remaining is basically wasted of ips 120 ips are wasted from using classful addressing okay so let's start with this <coughs> how we can save ips and protect networks okay one thing i should clear more uh, if in this scenario classful address scenario if any uh, PC in this department have uh, infected with virus, it will also infect all other departments at, as well because it's all belong to a same network. So this is a security issue with the uh, classful IP addressing. Okay. So uh, and also it's a difficult to manage if something happened in the department also happening with the same department and this department. So let's start with the IP subnetting. Subnetting belongs to classless interdomain routing C CIDR. I made a simple table. You just remember this table, okay? First, we have to make like this, starting a network with the one and then 
वन प्लस वन टू टू प्लस टू फोर फोर प्लस फोर एट एट प्लस एट सिक्सटीन एंड सो ऑन लाइक दिस फ्रॉम वन टू ट्वेंटी टू फिफ्टी सिक्स बिकॉज इस दिस आई दिस क्लास इज बिलोंग टू सी क्लास सो वी हैव टोटल टू फिफ्टी सिक्स ओके सो द अदर थिंग वी हैव टू मेक अस वन मोर टेबल्स लाइक अ होस्ट आई पी सो होस्ट आई पी वी विल डू इन अ सेम रिवर्स ऑर्डर वन टू फोर एट सिक्सटीन थर्टी टू सिक्सटी फोर वन ट्वेंटी एट टू फिफ्टी सिक्स ओके देन वी पुट आर सी सी आई डी आर सी आई डी आर मीन्स क्लासलेस इंटर डोमेन राउटिंग मीन्स दिस इज बिलोंग टू ट्वेंटी फोर बिट दिस बिलोंग्स टू स्लैश ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ बिट ऑफ द आई पी सब आई पी एंड दिस बिलोंग्स टू एंड दिस बिलोंग्स टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स बिट ऑफ दिस लेट सपोज वी हैव let me explain this how is belongs to 26 okay so we have like uh, this is a 32 bit of ip address okay and slash 20 here is here so it means a 26 bits of this it's a uh, slash 26 means this is a complete network portion okay this is a complete network portion we cannot change anything this is a fix okay and this remaining from 27 to 32 is a host so we can play on this host addresses okay in slash 26 so come back in this uh, table okay further uh, there is a calculation of each subnet mask like if network is slash 24 it means 255255.0 is a complete range of uh, ip class c network okay and if Slash twenty five. It's mean one twenty eight. Okay, it's a slash twenty six. It's mean one ninety two. Slash. It's mean two five five two five five two five five dot two two four. How we calculate is a two two four is a subnet mask. Let me tell you. It's a very simple way. Total of IPs two fifty six. You have to check the host IPs for this on twenty slash twenty seven. Is a total thirty two. So you need to minus with the two fifty six. and the answer should be 224 so it's mean 224 is subnet mask of this this class okay so 255255255.224 so in this way we can calculate the subnet mask as well okay so next one thing i should mention here this this range is uh, not using in class c subnetting so we don't we we don't need to consider this okay in this table okay let's start with the same scenario which is we already discussed now this time we are going to do a subnetting for same organization in the same way like uh, id department have a 51 ips france required 36 ip hr department require 45 ips okay so let's start with this we have a uh, built a table let's do the subnetting and calculate the each department network id subnet mask broadcast id ip range and usable ips Let's start with this. Just remember same network table which we discussed before. Okay, so one thing start before starting I must mention here. So you have to understand this. Okay, uh, like this network we required three networks, three networks. So you can check on a network side here it stands because the three, uh, three is less than four, so it's block and more than two, so it means it's it's block for. this portion okay for this table and one more thing you also check the ips so highest ip is 51 and 51 ip is uh, less than 64 okay if more than 65 ips then you should consider like this one but right now is a 51 ips or 36 or 45 then uh, these are less than 64 or we need a three networks so is 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 reside in this portion okay so start with this we have to select this portion now i'm going to start the subnetting one thing one remember again <clears throat> total ips are 256 starting from 0 to 255 okay now because we have how many host on this network okay 64 starting from 0 to 63 is total is 64 ips so first one is ip is basically a network id for a it department and next thing we have to calculate the subnet mask how we calculate because it's a slash 26 so so it's mean we have to minus from 
so answer should be 192 so i subnet mask will be 255.255.255.192 okay and the broadcast id broadcast id is the last one ip for this uh, last ip used for a broadcast id and the ip range of this subnet okay so total ip we usable is 62 ips from 1 to 62 these are the ip usable means we can use in the network or we can give these ip to the pcs okay in a same way we will do calculate for this department finance department okay what we have to do 64 ips we already use this we have to add plus more 64 so last ip was used is 63 so we are going to plus 63 plus 64 is equal to 127 okay so basically ip starting from 62 to 127 total is a 64 ips okay so host ips so first ip is 64 64 is this is a network id you can also remember on other way so previous broadcast id is 63 so next one is a 64 and 64 is a, a network id okay and then subnet mask subnet mask is belong to same so that's why it's the same subnet mask 255.255.255.192 and the last ip for this is 127 so broadcast id is 200.20.1.127 these both ips uh, already allocated so remaining ips we will use okay so remaining range is starting from 65 to 126 and total ips are usable ips 62 okay now we have to calculate in a hr department so same way we can do in a hr department starting from 127 plus 64 is total 191 okay and then going 128 to 191 is equal to 64 ip so same way the first ip is a network id you can see here 127 next ip is 128 is a network id and then 255.255.255.192 is the same so 192 is a subnet mask for this network and 200.20.1191 last ip is as a broadcast and usable ips are starting from 129 because 128 is already a broadcast id so starting from 129 to 190 and 91 is a network id so that's why these these ips are usable ip in ip range in this subnet okay and total usable ips are 62 so i hope you learn this is the way we can do subnetting and one thing i should more tell you uh, when we do a subnetting you can see here so the every network like this network to connect this network using subnetting always go through a router okay so this is a uh, consider a different network this consider a different network this consider a net different network is something happened in any pc means uh, infected on a virus this will not in infect these department as well so using ip subnetting we can protect each network from other networks it help minimize the broadcasting and enhance security of networks and it is easy to uh, administrative uh, way so any network administrator easily manage all three different networks and last thing we just did uh, three subnetting for given this address and remember one more uh, 64 network is still remaining okay so we can use in a future uh, if any other department coming a new department then we can allocate a fourth one network to this department so in that way we save 64 ips so i hope you understand how we can do uh, ip subnetting uh, and how we enhance the security in this in a network environment thank you so much i hope you learned the ip subnetting in an easy way if you like this video kindly share this video your friends or please do uh, subscribe my this channel thank you so much